Today is January the 11th. And I want to talk about love. Love being the highest frequency. With the key of David, I want to place the cloak of invisibility over our communications, minds, bodies, spirits, and our hearts. Pleading the blood of Jesus Christ over our minds, bodies, spirits, and our hearts, as well as this video. And I want to invite the Holy Spirit in. Just let the Holy Spirit flow and have her way. So we know that the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Unconditional love is the primary characteristic of expanded heart consciousness. It is an imperative ingredient for Ophmo collective evolution, a.k.a. ascension, meaning important position or a higher level. Love is the highest vibrating state. It has the potential to transform even the darkest of karmic shadows. We need to hold a certain resonance which means an echo or sound of love in order for us to be of assistance to others. Love is the highest frequency state, which has a lot to do with our hearts. What we believe about ourselves in regards to love internally affects everything we create and manifest externally. We move through space, either left or right, forward or backward, upward or down. Everything around us, from our homes to the objects we use in everyday life, has three dimensions, height, length, and width. But our three-dimensional world is often represented in two-dimensionals or flat planes in pages of books or posters or our television screens, even our computer monitors. Fifth dimension of spirit. Hey in Hebrew means odiot. We know the first three dimensions are space, length, breath and height the fourth is time fifth dimension is ether love it is what binds all things together ether is the fifth element the ether can be called consciousness without it everything in the world would collapse love is the binding force of all creation love is the quintessence of life pure essence latent in all things in the substance of which the heavenly bodies are composed. Beings of higher dimensions, like the fifth, operate through the essence of love. Love is light. Love is gravity. Love is power. Love is God. Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 through 40 reads, and Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. So you must love the Lord your God with every fiber of your being. Verse 39. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. We shall love others as we love ourselves. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. First Corinthians verse 15 verse 3. For I delivered to you first of all that which I also received. That Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. This love is an unexplainable love. There's no words to convey how much Christ loved us. But he set the perfect example for us to follow. To teach us how to love our brethren. Romans chapter 5 verses 6 through 11 reads. For when we were still without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. The ungodly meaning without God, estranged from the life of God, whom he neither fear or serve. In which that was most of us. 
a lot of us when we were in the world. But many of us have repented, turned away from our sin and have let Christ cleanse us from the inside out. Renew our minds. Verse 7. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Scarcely mean hardly or barely would one die for a righteous man. Yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die. But Ahia demonstrates his own love toward us. And that while we were still sinners Christ died for us. Much more than Having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Catch that message in the spirit. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God. Reconciled means to change completely. We were reconciled to God through the death of his son. Much more having been reconciled. We shall be saved by his life. And not only that, but we also rejoice in Ahia through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. Okay. Colossians chapter one, verses 20 through 22 states that sinners are alienated from God and enemies in their minds by wicked works. Yet Ahia has provided reconciliation through Christ's death. Verse 20 reads, And by him to reconcile all things to himself, by him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of his cross. Verse 21, And you who once were alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, Yet now he has reconciled. Verse 22. In the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. Okay. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 through 5 reads. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Love will never fail. So we all need to display the love that Christ showed us. He set the example for us to follow. To love all the way that he loved us. Christ came to earth. He healed the sick. He served. He served. As we should serve others and love them the way that Christ loved us. Love conquers all, y'all. It conquers all. It's so easy for us to just be angry and upset all the time. But it takes us letting Christ renew us in our hearts and in our minds so that we could keep that peace within us. Let him teach us how to love because I never 
knew how to love. We may have thought we was loving. But we didn't know love until Christ. came and purified and refined us and it's so glorious the things that he is teaching us about the kingdom within it is much easier to love when you are at peace in your heart and in your mind because he gives you just that that peace that surpasses all understanding and when he show you his everlasting love he teaches you how to love your brethren and so that sums it up for today about love so I love you all, and most importantly, Christ loves you all, and you all have a good rest of your day. Shalom.